All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is VMP here. Welcome back to a little more of Ron Baringsworth in Bannerlord. So, today we find Ron, uh, you know, doing a little bit of practice, brushing up on his board game skills. He's he's like Goku training right now. He is he's getting ready to have a rematch with with Wythewin because last time at family board game night she whooped our ass and it wasn't even close. So, I will get better at this game, and I will... We're beating her. We're beating her at Bagchal by the end of this season. I, I promise you that. Uh, so, sorry guys for, for not having an episode out for you guys uh, yesterday. Um, as, as I had kind of said in the last couple episodes, uh, I was going home this week to, to work. Uh, I, I just do patient transport at the local hospital. And uh, the plan was, well, I was scheduled originally to just work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday... Um, eight hour shift. So really not too bad at all. Should still have enough time to record, but then I get back, uh, what was it yesterday from the first shift and find out that, uh, man, us patient transporters have been, uh, dropping like flies, man. A lot of people quitting or, or coming down with, uh, with the virus. Um, and so they're, yeah, they're in desperate need. So <laughs> now, now it ends up, I'm working Monday through Friday and it's 12 hour shifts <laughs> instead of eight hours. So not as much time as I originally thought I was going to have to record. Um, but I, I still should be able to have an episode out for you guys. Uh, hopefully, hopefully every day going forward. Anyhow, today, well, plan was originally as uh, I was going to do some smithing off screen for as long as I could before I started getting tired. Which I'll tell you, so it's like, uh, you know, like 5 in the morning right now. Um, which normally is, is not that bad. Like, that's not too big of a deal for me. But, uh, <laughs> it's a whole lot different when it's coming after a 12-hour workday instead of, you know, 12 hours of me fucking around in my apartment just, you know, watching Netflix. <laughs> I, can, I can feel it. I'm a lot more tired now. But anyhow, apparently there's a new patch out. I didn't see this in the patch notes. But, uh, they reworked smithing. So if you look over here, when you go to smelt items now, uh, if it's an item that you've never smelted before, two new parts. Knight's Lance, one new part. The Spiked Club, one new part. Yeah. If an, a weapon that you smelt down contains a part that you do not know, you get it automatically when you smelt it down. It's so cool. So, here, let me show you. Smelt just one short spear, and we automatically get the Kantos head and a long mahogany shaft. Fun fact, long mahogany shaft. Also, what they used to call me back... Never mind, never mind. We're just not going to go there. Knight's Lance, one new part. We do that. Long wrapped oak shaft. Always got to keep it wrapped. Um, <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. I'm, I'm tired. Okay, I'm tired, guys. I'm done. <laughs> Been working a lot these last couple days. But, uh, yeah, so you can just go through... And unlock all these new parts. It's awesome. Look at this one. Long fine steel spear. Four new parts. Four. Look at that. Oh my god. That's extra long mahogany shaft. Hmm, fun fact. Never mind, never mind. Uh, <laughs> holy shit, we have 80 imperial spears. That's kind of wild. A <laughs> hoe? You're telling me we haven't broken down a hoe yet? Come on. You're telling me, Ron... The Parisno playboy knows nothing about hoes. Clearly fake news. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Long mahogany wrapped handle or something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you often want to use a wrap, use some wrapping when you're when you're trying to make a hoe. You know, when you're using. You know, <laughs> we're just gonna stop. Uh, okay. Well, this is awesome. One-handed bearded axe. Nice. Eastern javelin throwing axes this is we're getting more parts right here than like the rest of the series combined that's actually crazy this is and so this is what i mean updates like this are what i mean when i say like the banner lord devs are doing early access right these kind of updates and that are coming out so rapidly it's it's they're making improvements on the game so quickly like just think about it's released two weeks ago compared to where it is right now. Honestly, wild. All right, four new parts from this spear. Northern short spear. Northern decorated two-handed axe. Oh, wait a minute. 
I think I saw a video on the Mountain Blade subreddit of a guy using this weapon, and it is insane. Like, I'm talking better than Blackheart, potentially. And yeah, look, it, it, it uses fine steel? Okay, we're gonna have to check that out in a sec. Let's get the rest of these here. Francesca's, ooh, a Volge. Nice. A Falx, cool. Alright, alright. Flandia Lance, Light Lance. Noise. Noise, noise, noise. Hmm. Why, wait a minute. You know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking? We can now remake Blackheart, but even better. Right? We have really good stats. Why would we not just break Blackheart down and then reforge it and potentially get bonus modifiers? Look at Ron's stats right now. Technically, I don't know if this perk actually works. In fact, I, I kind of think it doesn't. So I don't know if we'll ever be able to make it masterwork, per se. Um, but even just the random modifiers that you get when you're smithing some something below your level, that'd be pretty good. Ooh, also, point in athletics. What do we got here? Four hit points or 3% movement speed. Ooh, that's, these are both actually very good. 3% movement speed. Uh, so that would... Where is that useful for us? Basically just sieges, right? I think I might go for endurance. Four, four more HP? I kind of like that idea. Yeah. Alright. Cool, cool. Okay, so back to the smithy. Blackheart. Two new parts. Alright, baby. You have done work for us. You have literally, like, the blood of thousands already this series i'm only breaking you down so i can build you back even stronger than before hooked axe head unlocked reinforced hardened ash great axe handle all right it's time boys two-handed axe what do we got oh i told okay so that's blackheart's head i told you this one that one was good the decorated two-handed whatever axe Oh my god, what, a, what about the handle? Oh, it's the best one! Yes, that length though. Okay, Jesus. I'm, I'm, all right, I'm, taking, I'm saying a lot of stuff that taken out of context is going to sound a little weird. Uh, I'm just glad this isn't Twitch and you guys can't, like, clip me. <laughs> uh, all right, let's uh, scale it up all the way. This is going to be the new Blackheart. So Blackheart, but with a better, what was it using before? This one. It was using this handle before. So now we're using this handle. Cool. Cool. Uh, yeah. Forge it, baby. Hmm, no bonus stats. Do it again. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh well. We're going to call this one, oh, I like this, Matt Blackheart. Ooh! <laughs> Keeping with the Bersachi brand name, the Matt Blackheart. Nice. And we get a point in smithing. Perfect. Hey, there we go. Okay. Ooh, okay. We're getting a little better. We're getting a little better. 70 and 126. All right. So if I were to go look at this now, do we automatic? do all three of them become, hold up. Wait, Matt Blackheart is probably not that high up there. Where is it? So that's the other one. The one before I named it. Ah, oh, that's dumb. Wait, it didn't work. Don't tell me it's called Crafted Two-Handed Axe now, permanently. Okay, I just replayed <laughs> through a whole lot of stuff because I hadn't saved in a while. Just so I could come back here and remake this so that we could actually call it Matt Blackheart. I regret nothing. <laughs> well, I regret the lack of sleep I'm about to get, but uh, besides that, I regret nothing. Matt Blackheart. Very nice. Alright, and then we gotta make one of these. Uh, Alright, all the way cranked up. What's the damage difference looking like? Whew! Quite a bit. Quite a bit of damage difference, if I'm being honest. 125 to 140. Holy. Alright. 
craft this boy up. Alright, calling this one quite simple. The Executioner. Boom. This one we're saving for a, uh, a certain young Keller dog. We'll see how long it takes us to get him. Alright, good stuff. Um, oh, let's just do a little bit of uh, smithing here to keep on cranking up the levels for Ron. Alright, a little bit there. Eckerd, I need you to make some fine steel for me, lad. Ooh, also some charcoal. How fast can I click? The fingers grow weary. Ugh. Alright, that's all I got. Make me some more. Thank you. Alright. That's enough for right now. Let's, uh... Let's go try this out if we can. Ooh, also one other thing I want to do. Alright, so we'll equip this. First and foremost. Matt Blackheart. God, I love that. And the Executioner. So we'll try them both out. We'll see how they... Oh my god, look at that. That should be his fucking banner right there. Just the twin two-handed axes. The tw the twin great axes on his back. That's sick. Um, but no. We need to actually hand out a bunch of our new Slash Masters. Because these things... Oh my god, yeah, they're way better. 73 cutting damage? Try nearly 100. There you go, Gur. Eckard? Yo, 68 cutting damage. Not even 69. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. You're 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 using the masking steel now, baby. You too, Adian. Adian already gets a decent amount of kills. Like she is low key underrated. But with that new sword, whew, watch out, watch out. Adian will heal you. That is if she doesn't kill you with her first strike. <laughs> if you survive her blow, then she'll try to heal you afterwards. So it's an interesting dynamic. Okay, let's go try to find a fight. And that way we can uh, try out. Ooh, okay, so here's the problem. Smaller groups of looters. I don't know if this is a new new thing that they added added in a recent patch. Oh, here we go. 23 should be good. But like, if you have a big army and you attack looters, they just straight up surrender to you now. Which makes sense. We'll see. Okay, see, this is just enough looters that they won't do that. But if I were to attack a group like 12 looters right now, they just straight up surrender. Which, like I said, it makes sense. Kind of annoying when you're just trying to find some, like, punching bags, so. Like, it'd be great if they were like, alright, alright, we surrender, and you're like, no. <laughs> uh, I understand I said, uh, you know, fight or surrender or die, but I, I, I actually just intended for you to, for you to die. <laughs> uh, wait, why are we in a village right now? Where are they at? Hmm. This is not exactly the ideal battlefield for me to be able to try out our... Oh my god, this is so much longer? The girth? No. <laughs> but seriously, look at the length on that thing. What? I don't care if you guys are, are clipping this and, <laughs> and you're quoting me on this. Damn, I'm excited. Alright, where are they at? Here they go. Here they go. Alright, new Blackheart. Matt Blackheart. Oh. That was not even a good blow because we got, like, we had no speed. We got stopped by him. We still killed somebody. Oh, my goodness. 107, or 271 damage? 191? A little double kill? Oh, no, that wasn't double kill. Ooh, hold on. Let me, get a, let me see if I can get a nice, good charge in there. Like I said, this is not a great battlefield for us. We like nice open ones. Oh, no, Fions. Fions. No, stop, stop. Leave a couple for me. Oh, there it is. 325 and the double kill afterwards. Beautiful. Okay, okay. Before all these guys get away, let's try out Executioner. And uh, we're just going to pretend he chopped on that tree in one, one, one swing. Laying him out. Oh, baby. Oh, down they go. How are the Fions even shooting these guys, man? Where are you even finding angles to kill them? They ran this way, didn't they? Oh, yeah. They fucking blend into the background. Goddamn looters. Oh, ah, they got away. We done yet? No? I thought they were all retreating. Alright, we need to find a bigger battlefield somewhere where I can get some nice open strikes, but man, these feel like they're doing a lot of damage. They're feeling crunchy to me. <laughs> 
Oh, look at the combo. Wait, come on. Can I get that again? Do it like that. And then you do another. Oh, it's not letting me chain the strikes like it was there. Come on. Mm. Here if I get off. Hold up. Do this. There we go. There we go. That's the combo I was looking for. And overhead. Nice. Interesting. Okay. Good stop. Are we leveling up out of this? Damn right we are. Damn right we are. Wow. Alright. I I think we just... Obviously, it's still Ron's goal to create a legendary... Well, either two-handed sword or two-handed axe. He wants the legendary modifier, but... That might not be added in for a while, so who knows if that's actually <laughs> going to be realistic. Also, something I wanted to talk about in regards to uh, this series and some of the other ones. Or, well, the other one that I've been talking about starting, the Rolf series. So, uh, as some of you may know, there are now two different chains of updates, if that makes sense. There is the regular chain, um, which we are a part of. And then they have started a new chain of beta updates. A beta for the early access single player. Does that make sense? Is that not too complicated? <laughs> um, but the problem is you can't really convert this save, which is from the main chain, over to the beta chain worth of uh, beta chain of updates. Because it just doesn't, it's just not really compatible. A lot of shit gets fucked up. Um, so... Unfortunately, so I really want to start Rolf on the beta chain because there are a lot of really cool upgrades there. But if I do that, then we won't be able to play as Ron anymore. So here's kind of what I'm thinking. What if uh, we were to take Ron and for like the next, let's say, week and a half. So instead of starting Rolf this weekend, next weekend, take Ron, week and a half. I'm doing an episode to, you know, once I get back up to my apartment, two episodes a day. I don't know if we can conquer the entire map in that time. It's not a not a ton of time. But I'm thinking we could probably have Ron wipe out and conquer all of this. All of Batania and Vlandia. And then also put a beat down on the Empire to complete the one quest. And then maybe that's a, that's a good point to call the Ron series. For, you know, for now. You know, obviously we'll be revisiting Ron in future mods and whatnot. Um, Ron is going to be making an appearance in... And Prophecy of Pendor, you better bet your ass that's going to happen. But then, I'd be able to hop ship over to the beta chain of updates. And we could start playing as Rolf with our hardcore Iron Man that we're going to be doing as Rolf. Well, I guess, is it so much an Iron Man if there's no realistic saving? But we will be playing him on hardcore with maximum difficulty and permadeath on. So, I don't know. Let me, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, but tentatively... That is going to be the plan. We try to get as much work done with Ron as possible right now um, over the next like week and a half. And if I, if we can get to a point where I'd be happy with it, because I'll be honest, as we've seen, they haven't really fleshed out the kingdom management. Like They, they don't intend for you to become a king yet. <laughs> um, they just haven't really developed or fleshed out that gameplay yet. So I think conquering the whole map would be kind of a slog after a while. I think by the time we've conquered all of this and then also have kicked a shit out of the rest of the Empire. Also, by the way, since when are we fucking at war with the Southern Empire? I sw Ugh, why can't they have bigger notifications? I feel like that's a relatively important thing to know. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> I now know. Um, but I think by the time we're done with all that, we'll be like, okay, I think we're ready to start a new series. Um, and we'll be good to go. So, I don't know. Just, you know, give me your feedback on that. How are the armies looking? Oof. Not great. Not great. Everybody else is uh, already in, I'm guessing, Ergion's army that he's starting. What is he doing with his army? Gathering near Phazos. Hmm. Interesting. Phazos. Where's that at? Over here. Hmm. Okay. You know what? Well, let's, let's, let's head over here. Let's, let's see what they got going on. <laughs> let's see what they have going Oh, looters. You have no idea how bad I want to take you out. But no, I must conserve our health. <laughs> there will be plenty of action quite soon. Huh, okay, they proposed a policy. Who did this? Luchin? 
Military achievements grant 30% more influence. Troop wages are increased by 10%. Why? Uh, I mean, sure, everyone's voting for it, but that seems dumb. Why do you want to pay more for your troops? Dumbasses. Like, I've got unlimited influence. Like, Ron's not, not going to be the guy to go against every single one of his lords. Like, if, you know... This isn't exactly a direct democracy by any means, but, you know, he still believes in letting his uh, lords have a say. So, if that's what they want to do... But man, I just don't know if that's it, Chief. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Oh, how did they just not tell me about a siege? How the fuck did you just not tell me about a siege? What is this? Well, it, we kind of have to go in. They're, oh, what was that? They're literally in the middle of fighting our guys. We have to go in right now. I don't know what the numbers work out to be here. 574 against 816, huh? Uh, that's not pretty. <laughs> it's not pretty. But man, we're going to have to make something work. Alright, what are we doing here? Let's uh, tell you what. Executioner, we're saving you for cow dog. Give me a second quiver. Let's run this. See what we can do. This is going to be rough. The Northern Empire is... Uh, decent <laughs> they're pretty good this is not gonna be a walk in a park by any means what the fuck is this fight no 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 hold up different map please different map please <sighs> okay uh okay i can work with this i think i can work with this i think Archers, move, stand apart. All right, the archers, right there. Footmen, move, form our shield, infantry, forward. All right, Let's see what we can do. They're actually really far away. Hmm. They are coming towards us. All right, 24 cavalry. That's not actually that many. I was worried about them having a ton of cataphracts. That might actually trouble our archers. But I think we should be decent. I just don't... Hmm. Hold up. I just don't know if my ar archer placement is great right now. Can we see them yet? Are they still... Okay, they're all the way down there. We have, we have a little bit of time. Let's move the bowman up a little bit. All right, here they come. Wow, I'll be honest, I've been up for so long. My vision's starting to get a little blurry. <laughs> it's kind of fucking hard to see these guys. This might be a struggle. Main, oh, nice headshot, by the way. Didn't even notice that. Uh, our main goal, I think, is just to stay alive and be able to command our troops so that the auto commands... Don't completely fuck us over. Uh. Alright, we got these guys on us right now. Alright, so we'll put our archers in that advanced mode. Where they should be staying at range whenever possible. What are those guys doing? I am confused. So at least our archers should be staying away from them. Infantry what is my move. infantry doing? Infantry, come back here. Nice. What a big hit. Fuck you guys in particular, little little peasants. Attack. Yeah, just charge in for a little bit, infantry. Alright. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. Seems like they're kind of routing. We don't want to get too greedy and follow them too far. We want to follow them just far enough that we're getting we're getting a ton of kills on them while they're not facing us. But we don't want to overcommit. 
We want to come back and let our archers get another nice, uh... Archers, another nice volley on them the next time they mount up. Infantry, come back. Infantry. What's left of my cavalry? Come follow me. Yep, and then our Batanian Fions are shooting them all in the back, and that is going very well. We'll get out of here. Manavlion? Ooh! Yeah, I got range now, baby. You thought? There we go. Fions are doing great work. Enemies are they're just really scattered. This is the Great uh, Northern Empire? I thought these guys would put up more of a fight than the uh, Westerns did, but I guess all Imperials bleed the same, huh? They're all equally susceptible to Fion Champion Bowfire. That's what we're learning. I mean, yeah, if we can get these guys turned around facing us, then our Fions just shoot them in the back. It's a simple spell, but quite unbreakable. I do not like some of these Manavlions, though. The, ooh, I don't like all the spears. Spears kind of scare me just a little bit. But this is a very good first fight. Fuck. <laughs> I say that immediately get clapped. 41 damage. Ouch. Alright, keep it up, Fions. Great work, great work. I'm considering almost retreating right now. And we, like, start the battle over. Well, not over, obviously. Casualties. <laughs> they don't they don't miraculously come back to life. Get them out of here. This is going very well. We have 243 kills. They only have 36. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Where are their troops at? I just don't understand what they're doing. They're all the way back here. They have a lot of cavalry though. 48 plus 7. Uh, that's enough of a cavalry charge to actually kind of worry me a little bit. What the fuck are they doing? It's like their morale was just shattered on that first charge. I mean, they did have 30 people uh, retreat. Yeah, look at all those. That's a bunch of cavalry over there. Oh, now they're charging in. Alright. If I notice that our archers are out of arrows, I'm going to run to the edge of the map, and we're just going to hot retreat it. We're playing this smart. They outnumbered us. No need to win this in a single battle. Use like use Batanian guerrilla tactics. Fight them and then retreat. Come back. Rinse and repeat. And I'll pick up some easy longbow kills. Jeez, I can barely see these guys. My my vision is so blurry right now. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. Okay, here comes the cavalry. I think. Archers! Alright, so archers are backing up. Their cavalry's coming in. This might get a little messy here. Alright, we took out one cataphract. Okay, boys are doing decent so far. Could be better though. Nice. We didn't actually kill too many of them, I feel like. So let me get a couple more by shooting them in the back. Get them out of here. Oh, that's a lot of cataphracts. Holy fuck, I'm in the middle of them. <laughs> I feel like we're overcommitting here. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just gonna get... Oh, nice kill. I think I'm just gonna get to the edge of the map. Do the auto-retreat. And we'll just take out the rest of them in the next fight. There's no reason for us to push this harder than we have to right now. Let's get our boys re-equipped with their arrows. Refill their arrows and uh, pick this one back up. That was a great first start, though. Okay. Now the odds are even. Now the... Wow. That's actually really good. Well, all right. Let's finish this. Let's see, 500 and 500. I don't know if we'll be able to finish them off on this one, but it's possible. Ooh. Hold up, move up a little bit. What's this map looking like? 
Ugh, okay, all right. Um, we could work with this. So the nice thing about the odds being even now is all of a sudden we've got a whole lot more archers. That is beautiful. Alright, the boys in position. They're gonna try to cross the river, and we're just gonna shoot them down. Holy fuck, you're trying to shoot them from that far? Oh boy, wow, actually they're closer than I thought they were. <laughs> Alright, Fions! Loose! Oh, look at the arrows coming in. There we go, draw first blood. Keep it going, boys. Finally got a kill of our own. Oh my god, they're just getting... Oh, fuck. Yeah. Might want to rethink that river crossing, bros. That was not the smartest move. Are those guys routing over there? Already? Battle just started, son. Whoa, goodbye, Cataphract. Oh, definitely just shot one of my own troops. My B. That one's, uh... That one's on me. Sorry about that. Go. And all their cavalry is now dead. Because they charged their cavalry in as their infantry was retreating. Honestly, the tactical genius of these Northern Empire guys is uh, incredible. Wish the sun was up just a little bit higher, though, if I'm being honest. Like, my eyes are very blurry right now, and the fact that it's, like, low light is making it really hard for me to see. I'm sure it's probably rough for you guys, too, on YouTube. Goodbye. Elite cataphract. Trained his whole life just to go down like that. Oh, there goes another cataphract. Horse, please get out of the way so I can kill your other masters. Oh, they're hurt. He's dead. Another elite cataphract. I mean... It, can you beat the Batanian Fion spam? We don't even have that many Fions. Like, we have a decent amount, but it's not like it's 100 Batanian Fions. It's like 40, if that. And they're wiping out this army of 500. I love it. I can't help but imagine this is mu what it must have felt like to storm the beach of Normandy. Like, for those guys. Obviously, we're... Well, okay. I don't know if I... Uh, I don't know if we want to be saying that we're the Germans in that situation, but you guys know what I mean. We're the ones holding the defensive position, and they're the ones getting slaughtered. Yeah, they charge in their cavalry, like, four at a time. Like, come on, man. It's gonna take a little more than four cavalry to take out this many Fions. Alright, our boy's starting to run out of arrows. What's going on here? Might be time for us to do a little retreat job. Infantry, go ahead and charge in in the meanwhile. But, uh, yeah, there's another juicy 114 kills with... Am I seeing that right? 13 fucking losses? Only 13 losses? Holy shit. They don't stand a chance. They do not stand a chance. Alright, we're out of here. GG's boys. I'll see you <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit once we've restocked our quivers. Actually, whoa, what the hell? We we're getting a ton of kills at the end there. Oh, I might have might have pulled out too early. That's normally never an issue. Well run it back again. I mean it's really just rinse and repeat at this point. Uh Okay. Alright, alright. Archers! Do a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Alright. Soldiers! Move! Make a shield wall! Okay. What are the numbers looking like now, by the way? Horsemen! 90 archers. Yeah. Yeah. Move! That'll probably do the trick. Alright, how far are they? Ah, oh, pretty far away. We'll wait for them to get here. Alright, they're starting to get a little bit closer, and there we go. Our Fions are starting to land. Let's actually pull out our own longbow. Get a little get a little cheeky with it. 
I mean, this... I'll never get bored of this. <laughs> I'll never get bored of us just having such a range superiority. Ooh, hello. How you guys doing? Such a range superiority that even when they charge in their heavy cav, their heavy cav dies before they reach our lines. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Where's their infantry at? Are they literally just shield walling? Look, we've got a lot of arrows. I promise you. We, re re we restocked, like, a lot of arrows. We will shoot through your shields. You do not have more shields than I have arrows. I promise that. I wonder what kind of units they got left. I mean, each of their lords kind of seem to be scraping the bottom of the barrel. They've only got like 18 to 20 troops a pop. Huh. Is that all they've got left, too? No, they've got a little bit more in the bank. Well, tell you what. It's getting kind of late. I don't know if this episode's been going on for a while or not. I think it probably has. Let's go ahead and cut towards the end of this once we're, uh... Done pincushioning them and ready to charge in the infantry and cavalry to mop the stragglers up. Or, I'm a dumbass that just got knocked out because I charged in for no fucking reason. <sighs> Why do I do these things? Why do I do these things? I get bored is the answer. I get bored. Alright, boys. Just, just charge them down. We, I mean, we should have more than enough to finish them off, I would think. Alright. Good work. Keep it up. Just like that, lads. Thank you. Looking good. Looking very good. Ooh. Alright, taking a few losses, but we're okay. Oh. Ooh. What the hell's going on? Hey, what the fuck is... Boy. That kill feed is not looking good all... Oh my god. It just goes back and forth. I'm not sure who's winning here. Well, I'm pretty sure we're winning. I'm just not sure at what cost. <laughs> That's the real question. Alright, there we go. We did it. Boom. Beautiful, lads. Oh, wait. They still got it a little bit. And boom. Nice. 42 renown. Holy. How do we do? We only lost 14. On uh, half of them, pretty much, we're trained spearmen. My Fion champions got 103 kills. Out of the 300, just in that battle, which means probably in total they had like 250 out of the 800. Wow. That is uh, that is a statement to start a war. Also, 16,000 gold plundered? I mean, I know we're rich and we don't need money at this point, but still. Nice. Uh, okay. But bro, just... Ugh. You want to take him prisoner? Or do we just want to... Yeah, you know what? I don't want to deal with these guys. Even though the game is dumb and lets them escape after like three days, still better to take him prisoner than to not have him at all. Uh, okay. Ooh. Now, what are we going to do? Um, we have, we can hold 35 more prisoners. Okay. They've got a lot of good units in here, man. They've got a lot of good units. Um, some of these guys we can recruit. Definitely want the Valandian... Gallants. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we'll take the most expensive and probably just end up selling most of them. Wait, we're right by a town. Let's take all 214 and just see how many make it. Probably not that many, right? I'm, I'm assuming probably not that many will actually make it. And probably a lot of them will escape, but that's fine. Also, what kind of loot are we going to get out of this? Ooh! Off the screen. Off the screen. Alright, let's go run back in to sell these off. What are we looking at here? 12,000. Take them. Beautiful. Alright, well, I think we can go ahead and wrap this one up here. Hopefully you boys enjoyed. Uh, like I said, planning on, on still being able to upload for you guys, I might miss another day before the end of the week. 
here um, just while I'm working. But uh, planning on still recording, and I do want to hear your guys' feedback on maybe we, you know, really pump Ron out for the next, like, week and a half. That sounds so wrong. Really try to do a lot of Ron episodes in the last, uh, or in the next week and a half, and then we switch over to the beta chain of, of updates, and that way we can play Rolf on uh, the new cool version. But, anyways, always looking to hear your guys' feedback. But until next time, as always, take it easy.